is for training purposes in TV news education. Some copyrighted material is used and is credited on screen. However, no more was taken than was necessary to tell the story of the event. YBA claims fair use of material. Tiger, Tiger Woods not giving up. We have a video for you right now. Fight all the way. Tiger on the sixth hole having to take off his shoes and his pants and, or his, uh, put on his rain pants, a little wayward tee shot. And that's really well done. You don't know what's in there. You know, no, there could be your, all kinds of yeah. snakes and all manner of bad things. Tiger would uh, end up saving par on the hole, seventh hole. Tiger, we had Rory McIlroy. There's Rory. He won the Honda Classic a year ago, looking to start well here in the first round on the ninth hole, second shot. Oh, that is luscious. He'd birdie that hole and get himself to even par. Fourteenth hole, birdie putt of some distance. Good smooth stroke there, gets him to one. Golf, people pay attention to big names. That's the same thing in any sport. No one cares about the little guys who keep winning and winning. That's true. Little small But if they win for so long, they won't it, be well, Yes, but it's just Roy like- Roy McIlroy isn't exactly an, you know, small guy. Well, I'm not saying he is, I'm it, just saying. It's just, it's just like the dunk contest. No one cares if big names aren't in it. All right. I don't, mm. I only care on the dunk contest if I saw something amazing from one of these people I, I don't agree. know. Why do I watch sports? Do you remember that? Because I want to see something unbelievable happen. Never, I want to see something, something I've never seen before. I but just want to see the Bruins win. <laughs> Carter would deal you our... You and Tom, Key, Tom <laughs> Kelly have to get here. Oh, good. Carter's Carter would deal our New York correspondent has a piece for us about the controversial on-court fashion statements the NCAA is making. Take a look. A lot is surely on the mind if you're a college basketball fan as we head towards the best postseason in sports, the NCAA tournament here in the wonderful month of March. It starts in just two weeks, and a lot of things are sure to catch the eye. Maybe an upset, a last-second shot. But one thing is really going to catch the eye coming up this March. Check out these new Adi Zero uniforms by Adidas that six teams are going to wear uh, this coming tournament. They are hideous. I mean, look at those swim trunks. They got on. You know what Adidas calls that pattern uh, on the shorts and on the sleeves of the shirts? They call it camouflage. Camouflage, really. I, I would love to take a trip to the place where you blend in wearing that. I mean, that is surely a an incredible place to be. It it's really just awful looking at these uniforms, especially when you consider the tradition involved. CBS, uh, the network that's broadcasting the tournament, has been talking about 75 years of March Madness tradition ad nauseum as the tournament begins, and they're not going to stop anytime soon. Where's the tradition here? There's none of it, especially for schools like Kansas and UCLA, who have been wearing very conservative uniforms for good reason to honor their tradition within their basketball program. They're throwing it all out. Why? Well, it's it's been done before. You look at what Baylor did last season with their uniforms by... <laughs> Sorry, I just have to... It takes a while for the vision to come back after looking at those. They totally took away from what was happening on the court. Uh, it, it seems to me that there's a bigger problem here. The NCAA is using these unfortunate young men as billboards for a new and ugly product from Adidas or Nike or whatever uniform manufacturer wants to do it. It, it seems like an institution that's so stringent on impermissible benefits for its student-athletes right. needs to look at the other side of the coin here. And it's a problem that needs to be fixed soon. I'll see you next week. Deal. I'm Carter Redeal for YBA. Yeah. That was a great piece by Carter. Now, I think, I'm, I'm not sure, but I might be the only one here who thinks those are some sweet uniforms. TJ, those You're are the ugly. only one. You're the I would only like one. to see those every TJ, single day. TJ, those are blatantly ugly. I actually have some pajamas that, that look just like that. Not that you need to know that, but that's another story. Well, thanks for the nightmares. Sure. Well, I, I don't think, I don't exactly like them, but... March Madness should be about basketball. I don't think it, that it matters, but I think it would be much better if they just had their normal uniforms. Well, you want it to it's, look somewhat classy, at least. It's the NCAA. That, that they just look, want to make money. It doesn't look like basketball uniforms. Look it at those like UCLA uniforms, though. Those are just bright and awesome. They are just great uniforms. No, I want the no, classic are, powder blue UCLA uniforms. By the way, Brendan, you were right. It's all about the dollar. Oh, yeah. And the NCAA. I, we make more green. jerseys. We put them in our That's big right. tournaments. People were going to want to buy them. That's right. They yep. do that in every major sport. Well, I'm, I'm not going to want to buy those. Something about the NCAA uh, going after a kid. Oh God, I'm trying to remember. It had nothing to do. It wasn't a big. It wasn't a big sport, and he had to use his biological name. He was a singer. 
That's it. He was a singer. He wanted a singer? He, no, he was a singer and a student athlete who oh, made okay. money off his singing. And the NCAA said, no, you can't. So he went and he, I think what he did is, okay, so that's not my name anymore. And basically he changed his name back to his biological name or something like that. But the bottom line is the NCAA, again, showed their true colors and it's green. Yes. They don't want any of these athletes making money for themselves when they can be making money for them. See, I, if these are on sale, if these jerseys are on sale, I think I might just have to go You're get proving one. my point! But, but you see, if these jerseys, if they were, in all seriousness, if the bottom weren't this ridiculous camouflage bright color, I like it, but if it weren't that and it were a solid color to match the top, I think the jerseys would actually be very cool. They look like moving traffic cones. There you go. Yeah, moving traffic cones. That's that's pretty good. Pretty good analogy. I think. Yeah. I, I like moving traffic cones. If I could see. TJ, would you wear a moving traffic cone? Yes, I would. Oh, Absolutely. God. You know I would. <laughs> All right. All right. Time well, to wrap this baby up. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> oh, so Joe now we're, Flacco. We're talk about Joe Flacco. Six years, 120 million dollar contract, the highest paid player ever, and he can only throw deep right. That is nothing ridiculous. else. Joe Flacco is, I personally think, he's in the bottom half of NFL quarterbacks right now. What do you guys think? I think he won a Super Bowl. You have to put him in the top half. Well, it's certain. I think it's very sudden that he could barely complete a screen pass to Ray Rice. Uh, he needs Ray Rice to run 29 yards just to complete um, a fourth down, and then suddenly he can throw it uh, downfield 70 yards every play. That is not natural. I think he's on something. I think not just Ray Lewis. Like the every t the, every player something. on that team is on deer antler or something. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm happy Jason, for a, Joe Flacco. It's a bit different throwing deep than throwing a screen pass. Exactly. I, that's what I'm saying, that it seems a little bit too abrupt that he can, that he needs Ray Rice to run 29 yards. It's Jamarcus yards. Russell well, here, Here's the bottom line, though. Ray Joe Rice Flacco Rice. just won a Super Bowl for his team. Uh, and he's a free agent, so obviously... I was going to say the same thing. Yeah, obviously he's going to get a big de uh, contract. Should he have gotten this? No. No, 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 no. no. Wait, 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 wait. This is he's too much, Jimmy. Hang on a second. No, it isn't, guys. It, it's what the market will bear. He actually got a team to pay him this kind of money. That's uh, what it's no, all about. Exactly. It, no, no, no. I'm, I'm saying for him... Right decision, obviously. He's making tons of money. For the Ravens, bad decision. Bad Sign decision. him in for a big deal, yes. Sign him for a couple of years, yes. For that much money, no. He's not worth that much money. And he also has the ability to restructure that contract like Tom Brady has for the betterment of the team at some point. I don't think he's going to do it. Well, we don't. Ha we can't tell the future, can we? No, no. but I wish I could. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy. Jimmy, Jimmy, I'm happy he makes, more, he ahead, makes more than Adrian Peterson. And the a guy that Peterson's just not that a, missed the quarterback league. Right. And he the just Ravens, won the Super Bowl, the Ravens, and he went to Disney World. I mean, Ra really, yeah. he went to Disney World. Gronkowski went to Disney that. World. No one, he's not getting offered six mi uh, million. Wait, twenty million. million walk down the runway on Thursday night with me. Not sent to Disney World. They sent to Florida instead. No, I'm happy for Joe Flacco. The Ravens are a team that needs help in other positions. They need a new defensive back losing. They need to lose another lining back. They need a new not, quarterback. He's not a great they quarterback. They need to rebuild their he defense. He is not a twenty million a year quarterback. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely not. I'm happy for Joe Flacco because let's face it, I still he's don't not, think he should be he's not making money in endorsements. Nobody wants to see his face on an ad. Congratulations, Joe Flacco. You that'll, just won the Super Bowl. That'll do it for us. <laughs> Thanks for watching everybody back in the booth doing all the all the tech work. Thank you very much. Bye. All right, we're going to work on the clothes. <laughs>